Now on four, a child is back home with his family in Smyrna tonight after thermal imaging helped search and rescue crews find him in woods near the Nissan plant. Despite the chilly and rainy weather, News 4 Melissa Sulik takes a closer look at the technology making a real difference in the search for missing people. In these thick woods of Smyrna's West Fork Park, it's hard to see through layers of trees. But a bird's eye view brings a fresh perspective. We're used to going out and being out, you know, for hours, if not days on a search. Jeff Clementi, part of Rutherford County Fire, also volunteers with StormPoint, a nonprofit emergency rescue service. Both teamed up on Saturday when a kid was reported missing in these woods. Jeff the man and behind the, the drone. To turn on. It was raining out, hard to see the monitor, so we can actually set temperature ranges for whatever it is we're searching for. Take a look. Those yellow dots are people detected by thermal technology on the drone. And while Jeff flew, others tracked it all from this trailer. Initially, I actually missed that yellow dot on the screen. It was someone in the trailer that said, hey man, pan left, you got something, pan left. Crews were able to track down the kid using a flashlight and directions from above in only 13 minutes. You know, we fly a lot of stuff where you think you might see something. And honestly, more often than not, it's not. It's a rock that's hot. It's it's a pillar somewhere in the woods. Jeff says while his team does two searches a month, landing lost people is rewarding. Chills, I mean, everything. It's, it's a very, very powerful feeling. But it takes a different perspective. Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.